We will not allow terrorists turn southwest into graveyard, says Ghani Adams. Yeah, Ghani Adams had made this statement regarding to the recent bandit attack, which had caused more tensions to the people of the southwest region. Now, the news in details. The Awe Onokakanfo of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, has said terrorists masquerading as bandits have invaded the southwest. Ghani Adams, however, warned that the terrorists would not be allowed to turn the southwest into another Afghanistan where the Taliban are in control. He spoke in Agbara Ibesa, Ogun State, during the Open Air National Coordinating Council meeting (NCC) of Odudua People's Congress (OPC). Ghani Adams faulted the approach of the federal government, stressing that security challenges across the country are on the increase, with terrorists working untold havoc in the country. According to Ghani Adams, a number of events have justified my position on the unfortunate security situation in the country. It is never a new thing to say that terrorists have invaded the country, using the toga of bandits to traumatize us and wreak untold havoc on the entire country. Information at my disposal truly shows that they are presently in the southwest, making efforts to spread their acts of terrorism to our region but we must state it clearly that we will not allow them to turn the region into a kernel or repository for dead bodies we will resist any attempt to turn the southwest to afghanistan where the taliban hold sway all right guys um that is it for the news now here is my opinion yeah according to Ghani adams who is the away on okakanfo of yoruba land a true freedom fighter just like sunday adeyemo popularly known as sunday go was illegally detained in Benin Republic. Now, Ghani Adams had emphasized on how attacks has been done by bandits, the Fulani headsmen, and the President Mohamed Buhari has done nothing to stop them. That reminds me of a statement made by Buhari. He said back then that um, the Fulani headsmen are nail terrorists, that they don't move around with guns because they only move around with sticks. Imagine that kind of statement coming out from the president. That is to tell you that um, the Buhari's government are supporting these terror groups that have destabilized the country. What more arms could these bandits or the arms Fulani headsmen do to innocent people? And these governments are just keeping quiet. They are seeing the whole thing they are doing. They are seeing the way they have destabilized the country. And there is no protection from the government. That is why you see that these people, these terror groups are everywhere. They are unstoppable. All right, guys, um, that is it for the news. Stay tuned while I share you some other updates. Be ready to buy a cow at the rate of 2 million naira if anti open grazing bill is passed into the law. Mayeti Allah tells Lagosians. Hmm. Yeah, um, this is another group of people. We call them the cattle breeders, the Fulani headsmen, the people we are still talking about, the people that have destabilized the south region and every other region. Now, the news in details. The Mayeti Allah Cattle Breeder Association has said that a cow could cost up to 2 million in Lagos state if the anti grazing bill is passed into the law in the state. Zona Secretary of Mayeti Allah Cattle Breeders Association in the Southwest, doing one day public hearing organized by the State House of Assembly on anti opal grazing bill on Wednesday. It was reported that the Lagos State House of Assembly on Monday sent the bill on open grazing to Committee on Agriculture after its killed second reading. It was entitled A Bill for a Law to Prohibit Open Cattle Grazing in Lagos State, the Trespass of Cattle Land and for Other Connected Purposes. During the public hearing, Usman appealed to the state government for assistance noting that ranching is more expensive than open grazing. Usman, who agreed that there were some criminally minded elders, argued that raising a cow in one location could increase the price of a cow to as much as 2 million. He also pleaded with the government to subsidize the cost of raising the cow in one location. If cattle are bred in one place, the price could go up to about 2 million each. We agreed with some local chiefs in other states that anyone who wants to wear cows in a location should register and should indicate when he is leaving. A Fulani man moves from one place to another to ply his trade, but we have some bad eggs that are causing trouble. 
the government should allow us to talk to our people that they don't want our cows to destroy people's farmland. However, the president of Lagos State Sheep Farmers Association, Ala Aji Mustafa Ibrahim, described the bill as all-embracing and would ensure a symbiotic relationship between cattle rearers and farmers. He also advocated for legislation to promote the creation of farm estates across the state. The Speaker of the House, Mudashiro Obasa, said the bill was intended to create an atmosphere that would encourage peaceful coexistence among residents. Obasa, who was represented by the Deputy Speaker, Wasiu Eshilo Kunsani, said in his keynote address that it was important to address the issue of cattle rearing especially as it affects security and other human desire. The speaker added that the issues involved with the current ways of rearing cattle and open grazing called for concerted effort for stability and economic development. If there is no security, there will not be peace and development. Farmers, elders clash appears to be the oldest. Both the farmers and elders are critical to food stability. Both of them affect our health. Their conflict leads to insecurity and claim lives and properties. We must engage ourselves to make the right decision, the speaker said. The chairman of House Committee on Agriculture, Kennedy Joseph, said the proposed law was meant to ensure peace between elders and farmers in the state. According to Joseph, the proposed law is meant to ensure the registration of elders and prohibition of cattle roaming. It will forestall elders, farmer clashes, and redefine social and economic activities in the state. Members of Cattle Breeders Association will be sensitized on the new development and will ensure strict compliance with the law when it is passed, he said. Alright guys, um, that is it for the news now. Here is my opinion. Yeah, my people, the Maeti Allah, who are the Cattle Breeder Association, as we all know them, that they only care about the business, which is the inflow of cows all around Nigeria. Despite the fact that um, the Southern Governors has declared for anti-open grazing law, which will stop the Baeti Allah from moving cattle all around the South region. And the truth is that the movement of these cows in the South region had caused several clashes between farmers and herders. The Fulani herdsmen will feed their cows with crops, leaving farmers nothing to eat. And the surprising thing is that these herders, they know that uh, President Mohamed Buhari are in support of them. That is why they are doing their lawlessness crimes and activities. Alright guys, um, we have come to the end of the news. Kindly share your thoughts on the comment section below regarding to the statement uh, made by Ghani Adams over bandit terrorizing the southwest. And do you think that the new bill of anti-open grazing will surely work since the Mayati Allah are against it? And you know that once they are against something, the Buhari's government are always in support of them. Alright guys, um, that is it for you all. I want to thank you for your support on this channel. It's not taken for granted. And please subscribe, like and share. And you can as well subscribe to our other YouTube channel for more news updates at Jesus Loves You channel and Glee Info. See you next time till I come your way. Bye, bye, bye.